Um, okay, in this video lecture, we are going to derive the elasticity of substitution for a CAS technology, that is for constant elasticity of substitution production function. So uh, we start from the uh, technical rate of substitution because first of all, we need to derive the technical rate of substitution for the CAS technology. Then we will use the technical rate of substitution to uh, calculate the elasticity of substitution for CAS production function. So as we know that the um, technical rate of substitution for uh, any technology, it is always equal to the marginal physical productivity of you know, one factor input to be divided by the marginal physical productivity of the other factor input. Okay. So for the marginal physical productivity of labor and capital, we need the derivative of the function with respect to labor and with respect to capital. So the st story starts from the first order derivative. But we see that this is the CAS technology, right? The simplest form of the CAS technology. And we have to apply the generalized power rule because we can see that the CAS production function has a whole power. When the production function has a whole power and we want to take the derivative of it, we have to apply the generalized power rule. The generalized power rule can be seen from over here. This is the generalized power rule for simple function and which the independent variable is one. But we can also apply the same procedure for the partial derivative as well. So what we are doing uh, is uh, we ap apply the generalized power rule such that the power will be multiplied with the coefficient. There is no other coefficient, so you should transfer in over here. The power will be reduced by one, right? And you uh, should multiply the simple derivative of the function, which is inside the brackets, inside the brackets with this whole term. So this is the this is the derivative of generalized power rule. I repeat, look at it. Shift the power to the coefficient, multiply with the coefficient. If there is no coefficient, then simply put in over here, right? So it has been shifted. Reduce the power by one and multiply the simple derivative of the function, which is inside the brackets. All right. So we are doing the same. We are shifting the power to the uh, coefficient, right? And we reduce the power by one and we multiply the partial derivative with respect to labor. The derivative of capital with respect to labor is zero. So we put a zero. And again, we, we will apply power rule over L to the power rho. So rho time L raised to the power n minus one. In the same way, we can take the derivative of the function with respect to capital and we obtain this equation. All right. In the next step, we divide the margin. This is the marginal physical productivity of capital, and this is the marginal physical productivity of capital, uh, labor. Sorry. And now we divide the equation one by equation two, and so we will get the technical rate of substitution. Look at it. Uh, it should be noted that we can cancel this row with this row, and we can also uh, cancel out this row with this row to make the expression simple. Okay, now dividing equation by equation two. So we get this, right? Now we can cancel out these terms and we are left with L divided by K rho minus one and rho minus one. If we can shift the capital to the numerator, its power will be changed. It will be plus one minus rho. So it will be plus one minus rho. Similarly, this becomes L to the power plus one minus rho. Or overall, this can becomes K by L whole power one minus rho. All right. So this is a technical rate of substitution. And now we have to solve it for K by L. It should be noted that technical rate of substitution always appear with minus sign. Right. Okay. Now you need K by L. So take the uh, power one over one minus rho on both sides. So K divided by L. Its own power is one minus rho. Take its power as one over one minus rho. And this is 
technical rate of substitution 1 over 1 minus rho this power is cancelled out with this we are left with k by l and now this is equal to minus time technical rate of substitution 1 over 1 minus rho why this minus sign this is because it shows trade off between the labor and capital now next what we do is k by l take it in absolute form technical rate of substitution because we will take its log and if we do not take it in absolute form we, we cannot take its log so that's why we are always taking it in absolute form now taking log on both sides if you take log on both sides it becomes log of k by l this is equal to applying the power rule of log this is equal to 1 over 1 minus rho and log of technical rate of substitution and absolute form now as we know that elasticity you can name a number it as equation 1 or equation a or whatever it is now as we know that the elasticity of substitution the elasticity of substitution is given by this and this is always equal to derivative of the log of k by l ratio with respect to derivative of the log of technical rate of substitution and absolute form this is the formula for this you can see the previous videos okay so if you take the derivative of this taking the derivative of derivative of log of k by l with respect to derivative of the log of technical rate of substitution on both sides so this is equal to 1 over 1 minus rho you can factor the constant out and take the derivative of this derivative of log of technical rate of substitution and absolute form with respect to log of technical rate of substitution and absolute form this cancel out with this because this is equal to 1 and you are left with 1 over 1 minus rho which is nothing else which is the elasticity of substitution so this is the elasticity of substitution for a ces technology or constant elasticity of substitution production function thank you thanks for watching